my hair look crazy as hell right now. I don't know what's going on up here. I look like Piccolo right here. It's like, it's, it's not it. I don't follow rules, feeling good. Packed a couple grants, my roll up one or two. Young profit, flow like Tropicana. That boy got the juice. But, anyways, just welcome back to another video. This is your boy Profit. It's gonna be a rant slash discussion video. I ain't done one of these in a minute. And it's gonna be my first discussion video to where you see my beautiful face. But today we're gonna to be talking about if you love hard, just stay single. Simple. So before I get into that, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you check out all my previous videos, check out my music, and I always forget some. But yeah, let's just worry about those right now. Make sure you do those three. We'll worry about the last one later. But let's go and jump right into it. The first reason I want to get into about why you should stay single if you're someone that loves hard is your energy is never matched. Like even if someone is close to matching your energy, if they're not doing the exact same thing you're doing, it's going to they're gonna feel like they're not trying hard enough. Like, if you're out here sending them good morning texts, good night texts, you know, checking to see how their day is, you know, checking up on them, doing small stuff for them, you know, buying them little gifts, you know, whatever, whatever floats your boat. If you're doing that and you aren't getting that same energy from your partner, it's gonna make you feel fucked up. So, if you're the type of person to where it's like, if you feel like, if they're not matching your energy 100%, they're only giving you about 50 75 you might as well just stay single because nothing they do is going to be good enough for you no matter how you put it no matter what extra shit they do like it's just you're just never going to be satisfied that speaks some experience like it's been people to where like they've actually been interested in me but i fumbled the bag because i feel like they were just trying to play with me or um they weren't doing the same shit i was doing but i was kind of selfish in that regard because I could have appreciated what they were at least trying to do. You know what I mean? My next point is hurt people, hurt people. So if you're dealing with someone that you know has a toxic past or dealing with someone that has been in a lot of failed relationships, toxic relationships, um, complicated relationships, entanglements, haha. Um, you might be that one person that shows them different and they don't know how to react to it because all they're used to is, you know, toxic shit. They're not used to someone, you know, say you get into a disagreement. They're not used to someone trying to handle it maturely and, you know, just squash that shit. They're used to yelling, fighting, posting shit on social media, posting quotes, posting this is all that. I was like, no, it's like hurt people can hurt people. So, you know, a lot of hurt people aren't going to appreciate that. It's not because necessarily they don't appreciate it. It's just because they don't know how to appreciate it. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Take that into consideration. All right. My next point is going to be, it can low-key turn you cold-hearted. And what I mean by that is, you know, when you, let's say, when you've been in enough relationships and you've given your all and they always end bad, or let's say you've given your all to someone and I'm talking about like your all, like you gonna put all your energy, love, like all that shit into one person and like it fails. Or like every relationship you do the same, same same shit, like you give all your energy and it fails. Like it drains the fuck out of you. Like speaking from experience, again, like I've been in multiple relationships consecutively and it's like to where I feel like I wasn't getting the energy I deserved. Or it'll be like they're matching my energy in the beginning or says like yeah they'll match my energy in the beginning but then like halfway through it's like they start either losing interest or they stop matching my energy they start just slacking all together so if like shit like that like it weighs on a person who you know only thing they want to do is just love somebody like they just want to give their energy to somebody that's going to actually appreciate it, you know so you have a uh, we have numerous round of people that you dealt with not matching your energy or you know, they'll match it for a little bit or and then fall off or they're inconsistent. Inconsistency is a big thing too. That's just gonna fuck you up. But um, yeah, like when you got shit like that, it's like, it'll make you wanna be like cold hearted. Like wanna be like, nah, like fuck you. Like it'll make you just wanna turn your back on the whole fucking world. Cause it's like, I done tried giving out love and all this positive energy and it always backfires, you know? So if you're a person like that, 
I feel like it's best to just stay single until you found someone that you know will match your energy 100%. All right, and my last point I wanna kinda get at is, one, if you're someone that loves hard, like really hard, you're already kinda underappreciated as it is because, you know, a lot of people that, like, a lot of people that love hard, like, it can kind of scare people away because either they're not, again, like, they're not used to it or they don't know how to appreciate it. And I, sh I should have mentioned, this probably could have been bunched in with the other point I mentioned, but I don't know. I, feel like, I thought I was going to have different shit to say about it. But, you know, yeah, like, some people don't know how to react to it or they don't know how to handle it because all they, all they know is toxic shit. All they know is, you know, bad relationships. They don't know healthy relationships, you know, or some, or they don't. They've never had a healthy person in their life, you know what I mean? So, if you just want to avoid all that shit, like, I urge you, like, <laughs> really urge you to stay single until you find that right person.